Well, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today's going to be a short video. I have here one of my uh, more heavier duty uh, extension cables, and it unfortunately had a mishap with one of my hedge trimmers. And uh, as you can see here, it, it actually cut it pretty decent and rendered this inoperable right now. Um, it shorted it and it popped breakers and fun stuff like that. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to repair this. Uh, we have here a couple plugs that you can buy at the hardware store. They're not that expensive. And what I'm going to be doing is, uh, because as you can see here, um, I have a pretty decent amount of cable that is, or uh, extension cable that is sitting right here. What would happen is uh, normally if it's, uh, some of them are if it's just like a cut right here, you just discard this, put a new uh, end on it and you're good to go. Well, I have probably about 10 to 15 feet here that I don't necessarily want to lose, but this gives me an opportunity to, uh, to, to do something else. Instead of making it one cable, um, I have two plugs here. So I have a male and a female. So what I can do now is make this into a second extension cable. And then we've got the bulk because most of the time I didn't use uh, the whole uh, extension cable. I believe this is a, it's either a 50 or a 75 footer. And uh, there was mostly like 20% still on the wheels. So probably going to be a good option for me to have the short cable. It'll give me the ability to not have this whole thing out with me. I can use the shorter cable and then um, do whatever I need to do. So um, let's get the camera closer and we will start with the repair. So really quickly, I wanted to go over the actual cable that we're working with today. Uh, this is more of a heavy duty style rather than a household style of cable. Um, it is rated at 20 amps, 300 volts. It is a 12 gauge cable. So this is way overkill probably for for most households. Uh, in comparison, this is the, I'm actually using this extension cable to run my lights right now, uh, but this is a 16 gauge cable. Yeah, notice the difference in, in uh, thickness here. The internal wiring on this one is way thicker than what's on this. Uh, so you're gonna need to make sure you get the right type of uh, connectors. Now, the issue I've been running into is finding an actual connector that will fit with the rating of this cable. Unfortunately, what I've got here in my hand, uh, it says it's rated to 125 at 15 amps, and it's actually the same for this one. I can't find any of these rated to the specs of this. Now, or if I do, uh, there's actually a difference in the style of male and uh, female plugs. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember which side it is, I don't have a picture of it, but it, rather than the vertical uh, tips that you see here, the vertical uh, prongs, one of them is actually horizontal. I think it is this one here. Uh, and you'll actually notice that in some of the receptacles in some newer homes, uh, or maybe even some older homes, I don't know, um, where you'll see it's almost like a T on one section or one side. And uh, that is to fit this 20 amp or a 20 amp style of plug. I don't wanna put one of those uh, on my cable today because I don't have any of those uh, in my house. So um, I'm sticking with what I can find at the hardware store. If anybody knows where I can find a 20 amp rated plug that is rated to those the specs to this with vertical prongs, then uh, I will gladly take that link and I probably guess some other people will too. So here's what we have to work with. So let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to isolate this smaller section here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and I'm going to cut right here where this cut was. And if I can get this, I don't have a good set of pliers. There we go. So we will start with this. We'll push this one to the side. And we will work with this one. Begin disassembly of the replacement connector. Most replacement connectors I have found available are built very similar to this one. Multiple screws hold the head in the housing body and have a screw down wire clamp on the wire inlet end. Go ahead and install the body shell first and leave it on the cable so it is not forgotten. Use it to measure how much of the cable sheave to remove. Please be careful with razor blades. I show pulling the blade towards myself, which is dangerous should it slip. Always draw a knife away when slicing the sheave off. Also, don't remove too much or the clamp will not have any cable sheave to clamp on to secure the new connector to the cable. I apparently cut off a little too much, so the smaller wires need to be trimmed down. This is a good thing anyway, as I recommend cutting off a bit to leave fresh ends rather than the tattered ends from the initial slashing incident. Now the wires are exposed and need each covering stripped to expose the bare copper strands. 
strip only enough to fully insert and be covered by the screw clamp. There are three wires, and at least here in the US, they are black, white, and green. Black is your hot wire, white is your neutral to complete your circuit, and green is your earth or ground. On most plugs and receptacles, the screws are color-coded for correct wire matching. Black wire goes to the brass screw, which on this plug is on the right. White wire goes to the silver screw, which is on the left side of the plug. And the green wire goes to the green screw, which is positioned under the brass and silver screw when held in the orientation shown here. All you have to do now is match the correct wire to the correct clamp and tighten it down. Follow this up by screwing down the cover, then tightening down the cable clamp. This is the male plug end complete. All right, so now we've got that cable plug on. I don't think that's going anywhere. And now I have a smaller cable. We'll put this one to, si to the side. And grab the big one so we can put the female side on. Replacement of the female connector is basically the same process as the male connector installation process. Remove the connector head from the cover body, as well as the cable clamp. Slide the body cover onto the cable and don't forget this step. Measure and cut off a portion of the cable sheave. Then strip the wire ends. Now one thing to pay attention to is the screw placement. Screw orientation is different between the two connectors. Looking at the female connector end with the flat prong receptacle ports on top, the brass screw will be on the left, silver screw will be on the right, and the green screw for ground is underneath. This is opposite from the male side, but makes sense if you connect the two connectors together and see the wire colors line up. Again like the male end, match the wire to the respective clamp. Once they are tightened down, oh, remember when I said make sure the body cover was on the cable first? Ah, much better. Let's continue. Line up the connector head screws and tighten them down. Then attach the cable clamp and tighten those down. Female end repair is complete. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I have both of the cables now set up and ready to go. This was, like I said in the beginning, one cable that I was able to turn into two. Uh, both of the ends are successfully installed. So this probably, if you were to do this on your own, probably no more than 10 minutes. And for both of these, I believe it was no more than 10, 15 bucks. Uh, compared to getting a brand new one, which can be upwards of 60, 70 bucks, at least for this type. Uh, for the smaller ones, for the for the 14, 16 gauge is probably going to be cheaper, but still, that's that's a decent amount of money for something that can easily be repaired. So, hopefully, you found this video useful. I try to make videos like this as I can. Um, I do enjoy being able to help individuals out with uh, their needs out in the world. Um, this is one of those simple repairs you can do around the home. So, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. We will see you on the next one. Have a good one. Thanks.